we turn to the phone lines right now, and he's one of my favorites. It was, uh, again, uh, a, uh, a career highlight for me to sit with him and the now Emmy-nominated Bill Belichick on the set of the NFL 100 all-time team show, uh, one of the voices of football night in America and Sunday night football. And he and the rest of the pro football focus team will be all over this draft right here on this Sirius XM channel 211 starting at 7 Eastern time on Thursday night. He is Chris Collinsworth. How are you, Chris? I'm good, Rich. I, I think we set up Belichick so well, he got uh, he got the Emmy nomination, don't you? Is that kind of how you look at it? Well, you know what, Chris? Um, <laughs> there is an I in Chris and Collinsworth and Rich and Eisen, and I think, again— No question. You know yeah, what I'm no saying? No question about it. We helped him out. It's all, we, we did our job, right? He says, do your job. We did our job. So We had a very small job. I, I, I tell you, it was looking back on it now, though, Mm -hmm. How interesting was the dialogue and the back and forth between Brady and, and Belichick? Oh yes. I mean, it was it was it was compelling. You know, I mean, there was clearly this issue floating about the room, uh, and I mean, you'll remember, I could barely stand it. I mean, I was like, okay, okay, this is not going at all right. I was like, okay. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night, Tom, and go, I'm Tom effing Brady yes. here, man. I won you a lot of Super Bowls. You should be doing, you know, and it was like this, like they they both looked at me like, you dog, you know. <laughs> but I can just remember the feeling of, of this is, this is maybe the first time that they've actually been in the room where conceivably this conversation could be happening. Yes, and that they were both being honored with one of the, greatest honors that the game could ever bestow on somebody and i know that the pro football hall of fame uh is that but so many pro football hall of famers would come into the room after that conversation chris and look at the board and think that they had already uh f had their fill of uh of humbling uh honors uh, in their life and and this was one of them and i honestly i got the same feeling about brady and belichick too chris but it was also even though it was one of the last episodes that we, the last episode that we aired, the quarterback one, it was the first segment that we recorded of all of them. And I just thought maybe we just all weren't in a flow yet. But looking back, I, I think that the two of those guys probably had never been on camera to, before together for an honor that each one of them um, had a huge role in, in playing for the other. And I don't know if they knew how to talk about it, quite frankly. You know? Well, you know, and the reason that both of them are who they are is that they don't take a lot of time to sit and reflect. I right. mean, if you're sitting and reflecting, when Tom Brady leaves, Bill Belichick is retiring. If you're sitting and reflecting when your contract is up with New England, you're certainly not going to another team, right? You're going, all right, I played till I was 40-something years old. That was enough. <laughs> I feel good about myself, and I'm going to go retire to this incredible life that Giselle and I and the kids are going to have. <laughs> right. and, and yet there's something wound tightly within those two guys that you say that's not true about. You know, it's not true about either one of them. And I think it's almost inconceivable now that both of them are going to feel some competitive pull to outperform the other as now that they're on on separate teams now if you ask either one of them that question i think they both say you're out of your mind but I, you know it's they're both going for the same ring right i mean they're both going for the same trophy and if one of them should get it you know that's going to adjust that conversation too no doubt about it chris and and i i guess just to put a fine point on this um, using the uh, documentary that we just saw the first two parts of on Sunday night in The Last Dance and how difficult it is to keep anything together, certainly when it is so very successful. Um, and, and that Bulls team just, for whatever reason as we're learning, uh, just could not be kept together. Brady and Belichick, for all what we were talking about, about what might have been in the room at the time um, last May, they still did do it for 20 years together. 20 years. That will never be matched in sports, let well, alone the and, NFL. And when you think about it uh, in the grand scheme of things, obviously we have a six-round draft choice, right, on one side. But on the other side, you have a guy that had been fired by the Cleveland Browns. So, I mean, the, the, the whole thing 
you know, the unlikely nature of all of that perfect storm coming together to do what they remarkably did uh, is a little mind boggling. And I'm not sure we'll ever, ever, ever see anything uh, like it again, because I just don't think that remote and odd of, of a sixth round draft pick and a guy who had been fired from another. T- I, I just can't see it ever happening again. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.